I'm a rep with Southern Arkansas University. Um, we are a four-year public institution located in Magnolia, Arkansas. So I'm going to kind of go through and talk about who we are, what we do, and what we have to offer. Um, and there's also some helpful instructions on some next steps to getting admitted. All right. So we were established in 1909, originally as an agriculture school. We have since then grown and have over 80 degrees in programs, but we maintain a 16 to one student to teacher ratio. Um, if you're not sure where Magnolia, Arkansas is, you can tell on the map here where, where the flame logo is, so about four hours from the DFW area. So convenient if you're looking to go out of state, um, we're not super far away, but you're still gonna get that nice distance where mom can't come visit all the time. So how do you get admitted? What are the standards that we're looking for? So we are waiving ACT and SAT for admission only um, for fall 2021. You do not have to send us a test score, um, but if you would like to, you still can. So there's a couple of pathways to getting admitted. If you do want to submit a test score, we look for a 19 ACT or a 990 SAT and a 2.0 GPA. If you have a lower test score than that, but still meet the GPA requirements, there are some conditional admission standards that we can look into for you. Um, but if you do not want to submit a test score for admission, we need you to have a 2.3 GPA. Now, if you want to apply for scholarships through us, you will need test scores and then to eventually get you registered for classes to determine where we would put you um, on your degree path moving forward, we will eventually need a test score. So if it's inconvenient for you right now to take the ACT or SAT, don't stress about it, um, you, but you will eventually need it to get registered for classes, which happens the summer before you enroll. Okay. Oops, went too fast. Okay, so you may be thinking that you can't go out of state, but I'm here to tell you that you can. We make it affordable. Um, Texas students qualify for in-state tuition if they are a US citizen and choose to live in university housing. So in this yellow box at the bottom, we have the tuition rates for each semester. Um, so the in-state tuition and room and board average fees end up being a little over or close to $8,000 per semester. Um, so this does make it affordable if maybe your class rank doesn't help you get into an in-state school or you would just like to go out of state, but the cost has been holding you back. Um, this is to make that pathway easier for you. Um, so we do offer a lot of scholarships through um, our admissions office. This right here is the handout of our scholarships, how much they offer, and then the qualifications for those. Each tier has a different GPA and test score requirement. Um, the majority of our scholarships do not require an essay or an interview. Um, so definitely check out this flyer. Um, it's also on our website and you can see which scholarships you qualify for um, and how much those will pay and then start looking at how much that's gonna take down off of your cost. So now I'm going to go over the degree programs. We have over 80 degree programs divided into our four colleges and the School of Graduate Studies. Um, so I'm going to go through each one of these briefly. Within our College of Education, we have teaching degrees that you think of when you think of education. So elementary, middle school, and then some specific areas, English, math, agriculture, music, and physical education. Um, our education College is actually getting a new teaching facility built um, that's going to have the mock classrooms and um, new lecture halls. Also housed within our College of Education are some non-teaching degrees, um, exercise science and sports management. So within these, you can choose a couple different emphasis. You can do pre-professional exercise science, moving on to the next level. Maybe you want to go to grad school um, with athletic training or something like that or you can do a strength and conditioning emphasis and then move on to another program for um, next graduate level. 
And then sports management has a few different options for you as well, athletic administration, coaching, and sports information. Our College of Science and Engineering has a lot of programs. The Department of Agriculture is very popular. Like I said before, this is what we have been known for in the past, how we got started. Um, so you can do agriculture business or agriculture education. So those classes will split between business or education in the agriculture department, or you can do an agriculture science degree and focus in animal plant poultry, or you could do a pre-vet program. Um, I always like to highlight our pre-vet program because going to veterinary school is so expensive. Um, and so it's a, a nice idea to think about maybe getting a more affordable undergraduate program. Our chemistry and biochemistry department consists of all chemistry degrees, but some of them like the medical lab and pre-health involve more biology and biology chemistry than just chemistry, but all of these fall under chemistry degrees and would be a Bachelor of Science in Chemistry. Um, I like to highlight the medical laboratory science within this department because this will pair with a major hospital in Arkansas and you're gonna learn a lot of technical skills working with technology. Um, so things like sonogram, x-ray, um, and then just working overall in a general medical lab. So it's a good hands-on opportunity. Okay, the biology and health science degrees has our biology degrees that are your general biology, pre-health, marine biology, wildlife biology, and then nursing and public health. Um, public health, as you know right now in a pandemic is very important and it has become a popular pathway um, for students who consider nursing but then found a passion within public health. Um, but our nursing program is also very popular and very successful. They do well on their licensing exams and they get to work within the Health Science and Simulation Center. Okay, the engineering and physics department, this is some of our newest programs. Um, our accredited engineering programs are housed within our engineering facility and have been developed along with professionals in the field who work at different plants and companies around the area. So as you can see here, there's a lot of different options that you can choose to focus on, um, but you'll get a lot of hands-on experience and any of those that include technology in the title include that because we have invested a lot in the computer programs and technology that you're gonna get to use and practice that translate well into the field. If you're interested in math or computer science, then you would be within our Department of Math and Computer Science degrees. Um, the game and animation design is very popular on our campus, as is the cybersecurity and privacy. Um, both of these get to interact within our cyber range. Um, so that's what's located in the picture there on the bottom. Um, and that's where they do the exhibitions for cyber attacks. Our College of Business is really well known and respected. We have a lot of options for you. Um, one that you may find interesting if you're considering getting a master's degree eventually in business would be the four plus one program. So you get your bachelor's and your master's in five years instead of doing four plus two. Some new programs within our College of Business is the international business option. Um, we plan to, when we're no longer in a health crisis, to have some study abroad options. Um, right now, those have kind of been temporarily put on hold, but this could be an option that you would enjoy if you're interested in business, but want to travel or you want to work with multinational corporations. Our College of Liberal and Performing Arts has several departments. When you think of arts, of course, you think of art and design, um, communication, studio art. Um, you see the game and animation and simulation listed here again. That's because we have two tracks for this program. The one mentioned before within the computer science department focuses more on programming and coding. This one is going to work more on the actual design and artwork within a game. Um, so it's not animation for cinema, it's animation for gaming and video games. Um, and we're one of the only ones in the state of Arkansas and it's very popular. Um, the other newest program we have is a pre-art therapy. So it combines art and psychology. Okay, 
the behavior and social sciences degrees um, include things like criminal justice, cyber criminology, history, political science. Um, all of these are very popular. Um, my degree was in this department. Um, so more and more students are choosing liberal arts as a field. Um, but probably our most popular within this would be the history social studies education. Um, we have a lot of students who are interested in teaching history, social work, psychology, and criminal justice are all very popular. Okay, if you're interested in teaching English or maybe writing or just learning another language, um, all of those degrees are located within our modern languages department. And then we have our performing arts and mass communications. We are very proud of our performing arts degrees in the departments. Um, we do offer a bachelor's of fine arts, which is sometimes difficult to find, um, but we have a very active theater community. And then you can do music education if you would like to teach instrumental or vocal education. And then we also have performance. Okay, so that kind of summarizes the degrees. Um, now I'm going to go through some of our athletics and activities opportunities if you're wondering how to get involved. We do compete in NCAA Division II within the Great American Conference. We have men's and women's sports. Our mascot is the Mule Rider, so it's very unique. Um, we are very proud of our unique mascot. It's the only one in the nation. Um, so you can find the long history of the Mule Rider, but just know that um, it's a very tradition based for us. Maybe if you don't want to compete in NCAA sports, we do have some other teams that go and compete, just not associated with the NCAA. So we have disc golf, a fishing team, competitive cheer, trap shooting, esports, and a rodeo team. If you are interested in performing arts, you can get involved with our theater program, our marching band, the choir, or the concert band. So you do not have to be a music major or a theater major to be involved in these programs, um, but you will likely be interacting with those who are. But if you just enjoy doing these things, um, or maybe you want to audition and perhaps have a scholarship through some of these options, they're there for you as well. Okay, so I mentioned before to get the in-state tuition that you need to live in university housing. This does apply to all four years while you're enrolled, but we do our best to keep you comfortable. And so I don't think that living on campus is a burden at all. We have over a dozen residence hall options. Um, they're ranging from the typical traditional style residence halls that you imagine um, that has a room with a roommate, and then you go across the hall to the all women's bathroom or the all men's bathroom. Um, and then we have some that are more of a modern take on that. So rooms are a little bit bigger, you share a room with one roommate, and then you go across the hall to a single bathroom, kind of like your family style bathroom where everything is all in there. You lock the door, it's completely private. And then we have some that are sweet style. So you have a room with a roommate and you share a bathroom with a person through on the other side of that suite. And then we have a third option style that is kind of like a mini apartment, but instead of having a full kitchen, it's a kitchenette and then a full size bathroom with two bedrooms and four people stay in there. Um, other amenities that our residence hall has is um, they all have comfortable lobby spaces with couches and TVs. Um, kitchen, study rooms. So you're going to be comfortable in there um, and they're super fun and inviting. But eventually, once you're a junior or senior, let's face it, we don't want to stay in that small room anymore. And we do have our apartment complexes. We have two of them um, with four bedroom and two bedroom apartments. So these are just like any other apartment that you would imagine. Um, you have a full size kitchen living room, um, private entrance, all that good stuff. Um, if you're in a two bedroom, there's one bathroom in there. If you're in a four bedroom, there's two bathrooms. Um, but you get to have that independent living just like in a real apartment complex. Um, so some amenities to residence life are that you're close to things on campus, 
like the library if you need to study or um, the cafeteria, you're close to all those things, you're close to your classes, you're just a walk away from things, you don't have to worry about finding a parking space. Um, it's been shown that students do better academically when they live on campus. Um, there's all kinds of fun events planned, whether it's game nights, craft nights, um, pinata parties like you can see there. So there's lots of fun things to do. And then we divide our residence halls into residential interest groups. So we do our best to put students with similar, similar interests within the same wing or the same floor of different residence halls. Okay, so I have a section here that's about activities and traditions. I always feature these because every college has their degrees. Every college has sports and places to live on campus. But the activities and traditions are really what separate each college and each university from each other. So I couldn't talk about activities on campus without first highlighting the student organizations. They're really the heartbeat of our campus. Um, we have over 100 student organizations ranging from your student government association, faith affiliated, Greek life, special interests, um, honor societies, all of those things are there and they really make the campus come to life, whether it's hosting fun events, service and um, charitable giving events, or they are inviting new people in, they're bringing guests to campus. They're always putting on something on campus. So even if you don't have something to do on a Tuesday, I guarantee one of these organizations is gonna have something going. Um, so they definitely make campus a lot of fun. We also have intramural sports. So maybe you're like me and you're not good enough to play on an NCAA team, but you like to play around a basketball, then you can join an intramural basketball team. Um, there's different sports all year round for you to compete. Um, they divide teams and they usually compete in a tournament. Um, so lots of fun. Okay, some events that we have. Family Day is held each fall, um, usually around a football game. Um, it's the per perfect time for you to invite your family back to campus, let them get to see how you're doing, meet your new friends. Um, and we have some traditions, of course, around this event. Um, the big picture here is our bed race. So there's bicycle wheels on dorm beds. We decorate them and we race them tournament style. Super fun. Um, the great Greek canoe race. And then we have tailgating. So it's a lot of fun. Homecoming is another super exciting day. It's really a week long event full of activities to do. Um, we have a bonfire, a camp out. Um, all the alumni come back. We have our homecoming court. Um, so it's super fun event. Mule Rider Madness is a basketball related event. If maybe football isn't your thing, um, this is kind of to kick off the basketball season. Student organizations get into it. Um, a lot of fun giveaways. Just a really good pick me up. This is usually about midpoint of the semester also. Celebration of Lights is our holiday celebration. This is by far my favorite event just because I love holiday lights. Um, we open it up to the community. Um, light up the entire campus with Christmas lights, have fireworks, um, there's a parade, there's usually somebody dressed up as Mr. and Mrs. Claus, Frozen characters, and it's just a lot of fun seeing the kids and the students get excited and have a celebration right before finals. Spring Fling is a carnival style event that we have in the spring to kind of celebrate the warm weather. Um, usually some giveaways, food, amusement park rides, things like that. We have a spring concert um, about the midpoint of the spring semester. Um, they are free to students. They range in genre from year to year, but um, it's always a fun opportunity. And people have driven from all over the state to come to these concerts. Um, so, and they're held on campus as well. Some other smaller events that I find fun and I think students enjoy a lot would be our casino night, um, chili cook-off, campus cleanup, the Greek games, and then our Miss SAU pageant. And this is just a small sample of the events that we have around year-round. There's always something going on. 
Okay, so I'm gonna kind of go over briefly where all of these things take place, um, what's on our campus, since you may not be able to come visit our campus. If you were interested in the agriculture department, your classes will be in the agriculture building um, where we have a poultry center, an ag shop if you're working with mechanics, a greenhouse, and then they also work with our, um, our farm land and the livestock ranges. The science center is where chemistry biology classes are. Um, some agriculture classes are in here as well, but there's lots of lecture halls, state of the art labs in here. And then behind the science center is the natural resource research center where students work with our faculty on research projects. The Wharton nursing building has the nursing classrooms and the simulation labs where you can see here in the pictures, they're set up just like a hospital room. You get to practice on these artificial people before luckily you go out and work on some real living people. Um, I was a part of setting this up when I was a student on campus. Um, I worked in the nursing department and I can say that a lot of the technology they have in there is really cool. Um, they have trauma, geriatrics, pediatrics, and obstetrics. So you'll get to work in different areas um, and get to practice with a lot of different simulations. The Wilson Center is kind of a catch-all building. It has a little bit of everything. You will 99% chance have a class in there, but it does have our cyber range located in there, um, which I'd mentioned before is the exhibition center for those cybersecurity attacks and simulations where they practice and compete. The Blanchard Business Hall has all the business classes in there. Um, they have their own computer labs, advising centers, student lounges, and lecture halls. Um, so it's a very large building um, right in the heart of campus. The Brinson Art Building has the studio spaces for art classes. It also has the art gallery um, that serves as a student art gallery on campus in the lobby area. This is the newly renovated engineering building. It has the, an auxiliary space in the center of the building for students to work on projects. It has all of those labs in there with that state-of-the-art equipment I mentioned, in addition to regular classrooms. Peace Hall has a lot of those humanities and social sciences classes, specifically most of the social work, psychology, and criminal justice courses. The Miguel Library is where I spent a majority of my time because I had to read a lot for my courses. Um, but in here, um, thousands and thousands and thousands of books, computer labs, private study rooms, and they had long hours or open on weekends. So it's really a good space for you to be productive and utilize resources that maybe if you're a student who didn't come over with a printer or didn't come to college with a laptop that is reliable. There's always technology and resources in here for you. Um, private study rooms for you to meet with classmates and work together. Um, large whiteboards and things you can borrow and rent out in the library. And that space right there below the words where it says Miguel Library is by far the best place to sit on campus. It's these huge windows and comfy couches and chairs for you to sit and drink a cup of tea, drink a cup of coffee and watch the campus, the hustle and bustle of campus that overlooks the mall area, the center of campus. Story Arena is our rodeo arena. As you can see, um, we have livestock that um, our agriculture students manage out here. This is also where the rodeo team practices and hosts events. We also host community rodeos out here as well and larger events like the spring concert are sometimes held here. Okay, this has um, our tennis court. So if you are interested in the tennis team or you just like to play tennis for fun, you can rent out rackets from our gym and play here. Um, and then up in the right hand corner, if you are going to be an athlete with us, this would be your private gym um, for strength and conditioning. Okay, so this is our um, basketball gym where our basketball team and volleyball team competes. Um, it also holds a lot of our exercise science and sports management classes. The athletic training facility is in here for athletes and then the aquatic center that is open to the community and students to use for 
exercising um, for recreation. And we also have some fun classes in our recreation department, like scuba diving. If you wanna learn how to scuba dive, it will be held in there as well. Our football stadium, of course, is an exciting place to be. You can see our mule rider out there on Saturday games right next to our tailgating area, but it's super fun. Um, it is packed full on Saturdays, as you can imagine, when we are able to have football games. This is our newly renovated track. Um, we host a lot of track and field events here. If you're on cross country team or the track and field team, this is where you'll practice at. This slide has the baseball and softball fields. Um, intramural teams also play on the softball fields here. And we also have a community track shooting facility and golf driving range that our teams use, but are opened up to the community and the campus as well. If you like to golf, but don't wanna play on the team, you can bring your golf clubs and go hit a few balls. If you were interested in theater, I wasn't interested at all in theater when I first came to college, but now I love theater because of the SAU theater. So I spent, um, I went to several shows here. Um, it's right in the middle of campus, um, super big theater, bigger than it looks, but this is where you would be if you're interested in theater. This is our band hall that is actually being expanded right now because our band has become so popular. So this is where marching band and concert band practice. The Reynolds Center is definitely the center, the hub of campus. This is where the cafeteria is. This is where the coffee shop is. Right now, it's a Java City coffee shop, but after the end of this semester, it's being converted to a Starbucks. Um, and it opens up onto the plaza, as you can see, and our mall area where there's always students doing things. Um, student activities are always hosting something or student groups are hosting something. Um, this building also has your post office box if you are wanting to get one of those. Meeting rooms are here, um, large events are held here, and then some other student services like the nurse. If you need to um, visit the University Health Services, those are there. Um, we have licensed um, counselors on campus, then your housing and student activities offices are also in here. Okay, by far probably the most important thing is what we're gonna eat and where we're gonna eat it. So we have our food court that has Chick-fil-A, Panda Express, Subway, and Grow Works, which is burgers. So these are all included in your meal plan. Um, depending on what type of meal plan you have, um, it'll vary with how much it'll pay for you to go to these things, but they're there all the time for you to use. Um, they're also great places for you to just kind of sit and chill. You don't have to pay to go in there. Um, our student lounge is in there as well that has pool tables and ping pong tables. So after you've eaten Chick-fil-A, then we might need to go to the Mule Rider Activity Center. This is your personal gym for students to use. It has basketball gyms, studio spaces for classes like CrossFit and yoga. There's free weights, weight machines, and an indoor walking track. And this is kind of a glimpse of just our campus in general. We have a very large campus, um, close to 1400 acres. And a lot of that is range for livestock, as you can see, but it does make for a peaceful, inviting environment. We are a rural school, but I personally enjoyed that. I love the peace and serenity of it. We have a lighted walking trail that goes all the way around this area for you to kind of relax and feel like you're getting away from the hustle and bustle of campus. And along that trail is also the disc golf course. And then um, we have a duck pond where of course there's lots of little baby ducklings every spring and a community playground. Okay, so some next steps for you to apply. You can apply on our website for free. Um, there's no fee to do it. Um, doesn't, there's no punishment for applying. The worst that we can say is no. Um, so apply for admission, send us your transcripts, then apply for financial aid and scholarships. Send us your test scores. If you are applying for financial aid, 
um, or scholarships through us. And then of course, send us your test scores by the time you want to enroll in courses. It's not required for admission, only if you want to. And then apply for campus housing. That application has now opened up and then send us your immunization records and we need two MMR vaccinations. So what can you do next? So you've decided you wanna to come to SAU or you're really, really interested. Some next steps for you would be to visit campus. Of course, we offer campus tours with social distancing and health guidelines. We are fully booked for campus tours for this semester. Um, but keep checking the website for the campus tours. Usually something opens up. The reason they're full is because we offer personalized tours. They are individualized to you. It's not a group tour. Um, but in the spring, we will be having some preview days that are some group opportunities if you are interested and want to come visit campus and just check it out. Um, so check back for that. Um, if you decided you want to come to campus, you've enrolled, you've been accepted, then you will come to BAM, which is our Becoming a Meal Rider session. It's held over the summer. It's where you'll get all the information about what it means to come to campus. You're going to get your student ID, your parking sticker, get everything finalized with your schedule. You're going to make your schedule. All of that happens on that day during the summer. So then you will, of course, move in. Move-in day sounds like it'll be a lot of work, but everyone on campus, all the student organizations and athletes and faculty and staff come out and help. So we're all gonna help you move in, get you settled. And then you would go to our Mule Rider Roundup, which is your freshman orientation, um, teach you everything there is to know about campus, introduce you to the student organizations, teach you the traditions, really get you engaged um, and help you make friends with your other freshman students. And then to celebrate the fact that you didn't get scared and go home after the first week, we host a freshman steak dinner. It's held in um, one of our larger facilities on campus, um, usually because there's so many freshmen, it's been at the arena. Um, but we feed you a steak dinner with all the fixings just to celebrate that you're here and we're excited. So those are next steps and you can check out all the options for visiting campus on our website. So that's all I've got about SAU. Um, I am an alumna of SAU and I'm currently a graduate student through them right now. So SAU is something that's near and dear to me. Um, I love my time at SAU and I love the fact that I get to encourage other students to go there now. Um, so definitely check us out. You can reach out to me. Um, you can text me, you can email me. We can set up a virtual appointment um, to kind of talk about your options. Or of course, you can just let me know if you have questions. Um, so that's all I've got for you, but thanks for checking us out.